Today it's all about rolling pins and this is a French pin, this is an American pin. They are different. I have a certain preference. You might have a certain preference. So what's the difference on these rolling pins? Well, stick around because I'm going to explain that to you right now. of Secret Kitchens of New Jersey. So I had a couple of people message me about rolling pins. And if you've watched the channel previously, you know that we've done a lot of things with uh, pastry dough um, and whatnot. And we've been using uh, a French rolling pin, French pin. And so some people did ask me, well, what is the difference? Why do you prefer one over the other? So I know a lot of people, including me, are doing a lot of baking, well, not only over the holidays, but all throughout the year. Thought it would be good to show you why are they different and why you might prefer one over the other. There's no right or wrong here. But fun fact, rolling pins have been around since the 9th century, which I certainly never knew that. And the first rolling pin was basically a simple wooden uh, dowel, you know, uh, probably something similar to this, but probably not tapered at the end. So, all right, let's talk rolling pins. So this one right here is the what we call the American pin, or, you know, the basic rolling pin that probably a lot of you have. This is kind of a fancy one. It's got uh, it's, uh, a marble section here. It's very heavy, I must say very heavy. If this were ice cold, you stuck it in the fridge, I could see where that might be kind of interesting to use uh, to keep your dough nice and cold. All right, so a traditional rolling pin, you've got your handles, which are stationary. You hold it by the handle, and the, uh, the cylinder rolls. And you know what? Let's do a little measuring here. This is, uh, this, the uh, cylinder portion that rolls is 10 inches. We're going to do a little comparison. So there you go. Uh, most of you probably have one like this, and absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's it's probably the standard rolling pin. So the other rolling pin is uh, a French roll, a French pin, or French rolling pin. It's it's made of wood. It doesn't have handles, obviously. This one has tapered ends. They don't always have tapered ends. But here's the thing, with this one, there's no handle per se, so you're really kind of rolling on it right with your hands. You kind of, I feel like you get a nice feel of the dough. Very simple. Easy to take care of because you, I just, you know, wipe it down. If it gets dirty, a little soapy water. You can always put mineral oil on this, food grade mineral oil, and that way you keep it nice and clean. The thing with the standard rolling pin, too, is that you could get flour or other debris inside between the handle and the cylinder. That would be pretty tough to clean, too. All right, let's just check something out here. The, I told you the other one was 10 inches. This one is 20 and a half inches. So that means, I think we're done with this, that means we've got really like uh, twice as much area to roll on. So it's a big difference. All right. So having said that, let me get a, a um, let me get a pie crust, and I'll show you how it is when you're trying to roll something out. Okay. All right. So I've got a uh, this is just a uh, store bought pie crust. I'm just doing a little demo for you, and you can see it, it's roughly about 12 inches, I believe. And so with this rolling pin right here. I'm rolling, and I have to keep repositioning it. All right. Now again, there's not, there's not, there's nothing wrong with this. Nothing at all. But I do like my French pin. Don't roll off. And with this one, okay, I, I have to use my both my hands. It's just a little bit different. The feel of it is a little bit different. I like that it gives me a lot more surface area to work with, and I don't have to reposition it as frequently. I'll have to figure something to do with this 
pie crust, we definitely won't waste it. All right, so that's how it works. It's really very simple here. So do you like the French pin or the American pin? There's no right or wrong answer. Uh, honestly, uh, after I started using a French pin, I got rid of my American pin because I like this one so much better. But you have to decide which one you like better. And let me know in the comments what your feeling is, okay? So I appreciate you taking the time to uh, learn about rolling pins with me. Happy baking. We'll see you next time in Secret Kitchens of New Jersey.